Good evening everyone, welcome to another video and if you're new hit subscribe down there right now Lots of non-league content on this channel After this video, go back and check out yesterday's game It was Bishop's Cleave against Tuffley Rovers Under 18s It was the Cheltenham Youth League Cup Final It was a magnificent game, it's definitely well worth going back and having a look at After this, anyway, on to tonight Something slightly different for you. It's a charity game. We are off back to Dales Lane, the home of Rushall Olympic Football Club, as they host this charity match between the Southampton Legends and the Ace Midlands Legends. Like I say, we've been looking forward to this one for quite a while. Some of the players attending, hopefully. Well, it's not guaranteed, but the main ones I'm looking forward to seeing is Matt Letizia, James Beattie, Jeff Kenner, Tim Flowers, all used to play for Southampton. There's a few Villa boys in there. Tony Daly, Darren Byfield. I had to look up Darren Byfield to be fair. I wasn't 100% sure if he played for Villa, but interestingly he did. He started his career there. He only played seven times, but he's been around the non-league scene quite a bit in the last five or so years. He played for the likes of Stratford Town and Old Church, Redditch United, Warsaw Wood. Solihull Moors, all of these teams are likely to have been in scene at the time and he could quite possibly have been playing and I haven't re realised. He seems to have moved into management now. I know he is at Warsaw Wood now for the forthcoming season but he's also managed Old Church and Redditch and Stratford also amongst others. So quite interesting, looking forward to it. See you at the ground, enjoy the video. Fingers crossed we are up here in the media tower. <laughs> Unless we get told otherwise, eh boys? Yeah, Mark the TCA is here, yeah. Spot your legends, folks. We are here up in the media tower. <laughs> Matt Letizia is here. Yeah, where are you, Rob? Matt Letizia is here. We're going to do match prediction for a laugh. So, who should we start with? Reese knows absolutely nothing about any of these players because no. you're not old enough. So, go for it. 5 4 Southampton. Oh, 5 4 Southampton. I'll tell you what, Reese, we'll take that. 
Mr. Oh, Grantham, I, th I think you're there. Oh, yeah, I'm in the sunshine. Yeah. Uh, three each. Three each? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm there. I'll go four each then. <laughs> What's Push up the game. You know how to do it. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. Yes. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Mr. Grantham spotted an excellent non league look alike. Yeah. Matt Letitia. <laughs> okay. There he is. Good head. He's just checking his note, my word. Good goal. Express. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, that's a great tackle. Come on, keep going. That's it. He's nowhere near. There he goes. Beautiful. Oh, right, whoa. Robbed him. No way. Go on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, one, no one's had a shot at this keeper yet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, save. Inside. Sit. Again. Oh, finish full time the Midlands Legends 4 Southampton Legends 1 first of all big thank you to Wayne Thomas events organizer and Rush All Olympic for sorting out 
the viewing from the gantry tonight it was an excellent view up there great for filming i'm sure you will all agree so thank you very much for that onto the game your typical legends fair nice bit of walk around football slight injection of pace at times great to see some former players or watch back in the day Matt Letizia, he turned up, great to see him. He had a couple of free kicks on goal, but the Midlands legends were not letting him score. Withdrawing a couple back onto the line to head it off the line on both occasions. It was great to see Southampton legends took the lead. And the Midlands boys equalised for half time, one each. It was only half an hour halves. The poor boys were knackered, <laughs> bless them, but fair play to them for doing it. It was great to see, like I said, good laugh. Midlands Legends added the three goals in the second half. The final two from Darren Byfield, who ran the show really far too quick for the Southampton defence. And he added two quality goals. Should have had a hat trick, but that one came back off the post, unfortunately for him. But... It was all good fun, really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, hit like and subscribe down there. Leave your comments on the game. Let me know what you thought about it. And until next time, thank you very much for watching and good night. Bing!